here we are sat in wherever the hell we are in the middle of north portugal making mud houses uh, which you've decorated very beautifully and sat amongst your work my name is daga um, i'm polish i'm living since seven years in portugal so uh what brought me into portugal was definitely some need uh, to change the environment and the way I was living because I was really unhappy. So certain mental issues, depression, uh, whatever we want to call it. And I decided that, you know, um, sunshine and nice people and walking barefoot might do me some uh, good. And it did. And, uh, you know, I, I feel I healed myself for this um, geographical. Uh, so this is how it started and then I think the the journey continued and deepened and uh, uh, in COVID actually I was meditating uh, like three hours a day because I lost my job I had nothing else to do and uh, for some reason coming from a world connected to water like um, being windsurfing instructor skiing instructor this kind of things I was always connected to water, but in this moment, I felt that I need to connect to the earth, that this is very important for us on the, on the human level to, to really connect to the ground. So I started exploring uh, communities. I started exploring yoga, meditation, dance. Uh, and then there was the idea of eco builds, uh, which is, you know, it's something that um, gives me a lot of strength. I feel it's empowering to have the skills. Uh, it's also, uh, you know, allowing me to be creative, uh, which is very important for, for, for us, for me, I think. Um, so it's really everything um, that I wanted to discover, this land, this project. So these designs that you've done, have they come from your head? Have you looked them up? Is it, some, is it influenced by anything? I think um, each design that I did in uh, communities, it, it kind of seems to be um, like, like I'm channeling something. I'm channeling the situation, the land, the, the energy uh, uh, of the group. You know, I did the fossil there and I didn't know uh, that you and Adam met in some sort of uh, group that had this logo. Yeah, we did. So I find it pretty incredible because I did this and I was like, um, oh, what is it actually? Is it, it's a bug or maybe it's, um, it's a shell. Uh, and then somebody said, no, it's fossil. Of course it is. Mm. Apparently the oldest fossil of any animal-like organism ever been discovered so do you like yeah that's interesting for me that that's something about have you heard of a guy called Rupert Sheldrake who came up with a theory called the morphogenetic field mm, no but it sounds good <laughs> so it's like a, collect, a collective form of consciousness that they describe as the hundredth monkey syndrome where a monkey on a Pacific island learns how to drop a coconut off a tree to break it, and then all of the monkeys of that species on different islands mm. suddenly know how to do this thing. Oh, okay. It's called the morphogenetic field or collective consciousness. Mm -hmm. is, is that kind of what you mean? That sort of something. Because this technology that we're building with here feels very ancient. Mm -hmm like literally using earth and a bit of straw and a bit of this, that and the other, apart from the plastic for the bags and a few other bits and bobs, it almost feels like we could have been doing this a thousand years ago. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For me, it's uh, closely connected to the people that are here at this moment in the land, uh, to idea uh, with which this uh, land is being raised. And um, and maybe some ancestral lines, like you said. Who knows? You know, where is it coming from, really? Mm. Because I think it uh, it reminds me a little bit of Greek architecture. Somebody said Mayan mm. um, elements. So 
yeah, so many connections. So you've been here for like two weeks or something? Mm -hmm. And you've got a couple of days left. Do you think there's something from this that you will take into your life as you move forward? I think it's, um, well, it's, it's hard maybe to take uh, from it to my life in the city because it's just very different um, structure, a different environment. Um, I mean, just as an example for me, I went to stay in a house last weekend and I realized I was very reluctant to throw anything away. Mm. It's like here, yeah. you really like, it has to be useless to throw it away. And not that many things are useless. There's mm. always something that you can do with almost anything. And I think that will stay with me when I leave here. I mean, this is something that I'm already implementing in my life. For me, it's more um, like I want to get closer and closer to this lifestyle with time. So for me, this is a place that is not for a one-time visit. I think it's a place to come back to. It's a place to, you know, uh, to see how it grows, uh, to meet people again and again. And uh, I, I hope I can be involved in this project, you know, in the future um, and continue, um, you know, the a, a Super Adobe philosophy, which is like, OK, we teach people an uh, easy, simple way to build things in a relatively short time uh, so I can see, you know, in the future groups forming and more people arriving and just this place uh, thriving basically so hmm. and so if somebody was sat at home thinking about doing something like this but not quite sure whether to take the jump is there anything you'd say to encourage them yeah just uh, just do it <laughs> it's easy it's fun it's uh, you know you can find your place in here you can create whatever you uh, you want to create it's up to discussion uh, it's very soft environment it's very loving environment so i think there is nothing to be afraid and any anything else knocking around in your head anything else that you feel like you'd like to say whilst we're here mm. yeah just uh Help yourself, you know, trying natural, um, natural uh, resources, you know, just the uh, sun and uh, being barefoot, walking on the grass, connecting with people, creating some music on some art or, uh, you know, jumping into the river naked. Just, you know, just try. <laughs> Thank you.